Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the different types of security threats. In the previous video, I just given an introduction part of this uh, secure different types of security threats. Now let's have a look on those uh, different types of threats. So before going to that, let's have a look on what is a malware because we are always used to uh, in the place of the threat we are sometimes used to call it as a malware so what is this malware Va malware is not a virus remember that what we are saying a threat means suppose if you are doing some work on the system so first thing is what do you all think suppose if your system is slow down and something is going to be happen in your system what do you all think okay virus is attack to your system just the virus term is nothing but it is going to damage your system so just like the human if the human is attacked with the virus means it will be spreading some virus will be spreaded some virus will not be spreaded okay and it it damages your uh, physical condition okay and your health will be damaged so just like that uh, just like that a virus is also related to the uh, it is the same relating to the computer also the computer system is also getting damaged if the if it is uh, virus is attacked some virus may be uh, work on only on that system and some uh, virus may be spread from one system to the another system just like the human uh, viruses okay so uh, whenever we see in the word malware we thought that it is a virus but it is not exactly a virus just it is in fact it consists of a virus means as uh, some virus is present on the malware malware is completely is not a virus so that is a code uh, that is a program in which a virus is there it consists of a viruses worms trojan horses adware root, root kits and many other nasty infections so what do you understand about the malware malware is nothing but a program it is not completely virus it is something a program in that program in that program a small code virus is there so that virus is nothing but it is it consists of viruses worms will be there a tro trojan horse so these are all everything is related to a simple code which is going to affect the system adware to root kit and different many other nasty infections will be there that everything is present on the malware so in simple words it is a code the malware is a code with with the intent to steal data or destroy something on the pc so malware means it's consisting of a virus that's it it is not completely a virus it consists of a virus so which is going to steal your data and which is going to destroy something on your pc it can be classified based on how they get executed so this malware is going to classified based on how they get executed how that viruses these trojan horses adwares worms viruses how they get executed in your system and how they spread even how they are going to spread from one system to another system and what they are going to do in your system so that the malware is classified based on these things how they get executed how they spread and what they do okay so now let's have a look on the different types of this uh, malware that is uh, viruses the vi first one is the viruses we know that by seeing the word virus means any everyone will aware of this word virus the person who using the electronic gadget a person who working on the internet a person who is using the computer system they know about the virus so they don't know some of them they, they don't know how these virus will be attack in your system now let's have a look on this a computer virus is carefully hidden piece so what is this it is just a hidden piece of a computer code that has the ability so what this virus ability that has the ability to spread from one system to another system so just like a human virus spreading diseases this virus is also spread from one system to another system actually it is just simply a code which is a hidden code you can't see that so while you're working while you are installing some software while you are installing some application okay while you are working on something it's a virus is sometimes which is present in your code somewhere it is just a hidden piece of a computer code that which is having the ability that simple code which is a hidden code has the ability to spread from one system to another system and this virus is, is also replicates and it also executes itself usually doing damage to your computer in process a computer virus is not actually alive actually it is not alive but 
it's a piece of executable code that spreads because it is attached to a computer file suppose if it is there in your system unless until if you didn't access that file unless until if you if you didn't execute that file it won't be spread it is alive okay it is not actually alive so it is not actually alive but when you are trying to execute that a virus will be attacked while while you are trying to transfer that file from one system to another system if that system is also trying to execute that file then the virus will be uh, attacked executing means nothing but if you are doing some modifications or if you are doing some uh, installation something like that okay then the virus will be spreaded so wherever the file goes the virus goes with it wherever the file is going from one system to another file, the virus also goes with that file because it is a piece of code which is present on that computer file. So that is about the virus. Okay. I hope you understand what exactly this uh, security threat virus. So it's just simply a hidden code which is present on your computer. And one thing you have to remember that it is a spreading disease. Like just like a spreading diseases, it is also have the ability to spread from one system to another system. Whenever you are trying to work on that, whenever you are trying to install that code, uh, that spreads. Okay. That you have to be remember that. Now coming to the next one that is the worms. So what is this worm? So if you have seen this worm, you are getting, a, you are going to remember that the worms, it's a, it's an insect. Okay. So just like that. It is a self-replicating program. It is, this worm is a self-replicating program that can spread throughout a network without human assistance, without human assistance. So did you observe the difference between the worm and the viruses? worm and the viruses in the viruses what it is going to do whenever the human is trying to install whenever human is working on that uh, executing that file the virus is going to be attacked but worm is not like that here the human involvement is not there it is just a self-replicating program that can spread throughout a network it is going to spread like that okay you are not doing anything like that if it is there the worm is there it's just passing like that it's just passing like that like from one network over the network throughout a network without the human assistance without the human interaction without the human uh, work on that it is going to be spread from throughout a network the worms causes what it is going to do. The worms causes damage similar to viruses. It is stealing sensitive information, corrupting files, installing the back doors for remote access to the system. So many things. And also, this worm utilizes the large amount of memory. It is going to utilize the large amount of memory and the bandwidth. So, affected servers, hardware and individual system are often overloaded and stop responding. So, suppose if your system is attacked with this worm security attack uh, threat, your system uh, memory will be uh, reduced. Means that uh, it is going to because this virus is going to utilize a large amount of memory. So, if you if your memory is uh, utilized by some other thing, okay. With if suppose if you see uh, if you see in your mobile data, there is no file. Suppose if the file consisting of uh, occupying two GB of data. It is showing it is a full. But if you enter into that file, nothing will be there. But still it is showing that 2 GB of data is full. That is the large amount of memory is utilized by some security threat. That is a worm which is going to utilize this large amount of data and the bandwidth. So affected servers, hardware and individual systems are often overloaded and stop responding because of this worm attack. So it is often transmitted. So uh, what I said, uh, the viruses will be tra transmit means whenever you're working on that uh, malicious code, it is going to be uh, spread. Okay. But here the worm is often transmitted via a file sharing network, email attachment or by clicking links of to malicious website, malicious website. Okay. So be careful students, the worm security thread is often transmitted via file sharing system. So while you are copying, uh, working on the file sharing uh, ne network, file sharing network, you have to concentrating on this worm security thread and even the email attachment also, even though if you didn't send that email, automatically it is going to be sent to the other person. Okay, so with some uh, virus, okay, with some security thread. 
you are not able to, you are not sending anything but automatically a email attachment is sending to your some uh, in the contact list so whatever the contact list is there so to that contact list automatically your ma mail is sent with the uh, threat so that is the main uh, this warm threat is going to do so be careful while you're working on this so the file sharing network email attachments and this can be often transmitted by clicking links to a malicious website also malicious website also okay so this is about the worm and still some more threads are there we will see in the next video thank you